a letter to you, Mama. Today marks the birthday of a woman possessed by God's love and gives forth an evidence of the beauty of His creation. I woke up this morning with emotions of love as I enjoyed the beautiful sounds of the early morning birds which got me singing. My mother, I need to do something for you. My mother, I need to do something for you. My mother, I need to do something for you. Just to show you how much I love you. The early morning birds joined me sing and together we sang on and on and on. The beautiful walls of the heavens melted down on this day to clear the path for the departure of a beautiful soul sent by God into this world. Your beauty brings balance to nature and your smile has always been our light for the future. God's divine kiss left two beautifully carved holes suspended on your face which you unselfishly transferred onto your children to amuse the world about the wonders of his creation. Several years later, the inherent wonders of God were manifested through the blessed womb of a mother, giving rise to three seeds which today are a manifestation of God's divine prosperity and blessing. As the wind of life blew into this world, the smiles of the innocent shone on the faces of the faithful in the light of the beginning of a beautiful journey towards purpose. At the rise and fall of Papa's strong arms, we questioned the genuineness of your love and your claims to kindness as we went through sadness. You were always at the back, injecting fuel of rage and anger into Papa causing him to rise and fall even much harder. This created overflowing streams of tears and scars of painful memories. As we look back, we appreciate your pressure for Papa to torture and create moisture of sadness on our faces for a beautiful future. As you left the upper part to be tortured by Papa, you remain focused on our feet in seeking assurance that every part is awakened to the reality that behavioral change was the only option. In all of this, you still took the translucent oceans of tears from our carpets and molded them into beautiful pieces of advice and encouragement. As we move into the world, your sacrifices took away our vices as we navigated unknown places and so we give praises to God for sending you to be our guiding angel and our mother. Shouting at us was your mantra. So we regularly saw your red sounds flying through the windows of our ears to instill in us a message of behavioral change. We always called you pressure. But no barometer could measure the nature of your pressure, which was really meant to nurture our future. In your eyes, we keep seeing petals of roses reflecting beautiful pictures of love on our faces, so we have no choice but to also spread that love to the world and its people. Mama. Your great vision for us is now a reality. Today you have three accomplished professionals in various disciplines. We know how fulfilled you are to be alive to see this dream you started years ago become a reality. To show gratitude, in a very special way, we want to say thanks to you for all that you did for the future we are enjoying today. Happy birthday to you, our beloved mother, Mrs. Miriam Numa Moyjoy. May God give you good health and long life to continue enjoying the fruits of your labor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you.
My name is Sineti Mojo. My name is Sineti Mojo. My name is Sineti Mojo. My name is Sineti Mojo.